Hey guys, today I'm here at Dizzy's Epcot for the first day of food and wine. Da -da -da. Dice hands. So, don't they usually have, yes, passports? Oh, go get your passport. See, look, I remember stuff. You do, here we got one. This is the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Okay, guys, so we just got a passport for food and wine. So if you don't know what the passports are, basically, at the very back of it, they have all of these stickers, and you can go to each place and put a sticker there, so you know which places you've been to and which ones you still need to try. I've never successfully completed the passport before, you know, been to all the stands, tried the food there, put the sticker in, but I have successfully just placed all the stickers there, and pretended he went. <laughs> they okay. have um. They have stuff at the beginning they have of a, it. Two new things, but that don't open until really? October first. Oh. So we got fun. like a month. Oh, oh cool. What are the new things? The donut box, oh, which um sounds pretty good. I, mean, I wonder if it's like the glow nut. Wait. If and that then they have one, weird. which is the the test track cool wash sponsored by Coca Cola, which I know that's been open before, uh, cool, but cool. it's yeah. saying it doesn't open till October first. But they also have a new booth this year Ooh. called the Alps in Norway. Ooh, that's fun. So, which is always exciting. Does that one open now or not? It's open now. Oh, oh. Open now. So at least there's one new thing to do today. If you look near the front of the passport, you'll see a bunch of new stuff. Like, look at this super cool merchandise that we're definitely going to be checking out. I was going to say, too, to with the Alps, they have a venison stew, so watch out, Bambi. <gasps> oh. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Then I'll have the venison. They should have called it the Bambi <laughs> stew. Bandy that would be even more <laughs> messed up. <Yeah. laughs> That's just. Oh, well, it's Disney theme though. I mean, it's Disney theme. <laughs> Enough waiting around. Let's go check out this festival. Okay, now we're gonna go get a birthday button for my mom because it's her birthday. Happy yeah, birthday! It is. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. So we just got this birthday button. It also says, Ooh, it's so I cute. like the. I like the little. Mickey? Yeah, the hidden Mickey's. Yeah. She drew on it. Well, not so good at Mickey's, but I like it. Not hidden at all, but you know. I feel like the hurricane winds are coming in. But it's still really hot. Yeah. Okay, the first thing I want to check out is whenever there's a festival here, they always have this little game where they have a map of the park, and there's something that you always need to find. So this game, you need to find little ratatouilles, and you basically put stickers wherever you find them. So you'll see Remy with a little food, and you need to put the Remy with the food in the place that you found it. And once you have all of it, you'll get a prize. The prizes are actually cups, which is pretty cool. There's a big one. Do you get to choose which one you want? Yeah, there's a choice of four. That's cute. We just went into Mouse Gear, and right as we went in, we saw some really cool food and wine. Figment stuff. So, first things first, there is this shirt. It's $34.99. And it's a little recipe, and it has a figment on it. Oh, look at this. Look at the recipe calls for two tiny wings, eyes, big and yellow, horn of oh, a steer. No. Oh, what a lovable good. fellow. Okay, okay, I get it now. It's recipe for a figment, how to make a figment. I got really <laughs> concerned there for a second. Oh, you thought they were going to cook figment? Yes. <laughs> really cool hat, and it had the same design. And it has the recipe on the bottom of it. I actually didn't know that. I just flipped it over and I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah, here's the same design. That's cute. <gasps> wait, wait, it says, um, spark. You, One you little can, spark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, it's really a figment ornament. That is cute. Some bugs. This is adorable. There's a figment headband. Food, wine, salt, and pepper shaker. It's $10. And look. That is so cute. cute. Recipe for figment. It has the bun. And look, it's everything you need. Oil for figment, imagination, salt, spark, delight. Why do you need salt to make figment? <laughs> <laughs> a little salt and pepper for taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you cook a figment. And in case you ever forget, here's the recipe right there. Ooh, it's on the bowl. <laughs> I thought it was a figment chamber pot. What? Ew. <laughs> Cutting that out. And the bowl is twenty dollars. No, that's really cute. That is really cute. shirts. This one shows a figment eating some popcorn, and it's going around the world. Oh, that's cool. Test track, soaring. 
in Mission Space. And then it has the same design on the bottom. That's actually really cute. He's really good at eating popcorn like that. <laughs> I've tried. It's not as easy as it looks. I know, right? Every time I try to toss it in my mouth, like, And it's $24.99. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> it just goes all over your face. Yeah. And you're like, no. Okay, so I just found a spirit jersey for the Food and Wine Festival. 2019. And I have to say, I absolutely love the colors. On the back, it says, everything's better with sprinkles. It shows some cupcake and mini, and that's really cute. $64.99. But it also has this really cute matching hat with it. Everything's better with sprinkles. Hope they do. And then I've got... National Food and Wine Festival. $29.99 it has this really cute mini patch on it. That is cute. I actually like how they're they're putting like stuff, stuff on, on the inside the, of the bill. Yeah. I like that too. Yeah, that's really cute. The other hat had that too. Look at that. And this is really cute. It's mouse ears and it has a little cupcake right here. And it has some sprinkles. That is cute. And it says Food and Wine Festival. And it's $29.99. And I just love it. It's so cute. That is cute. That's a lot. Normally they're like 24 for the years. I already see some cute... Okay, oh, this is really cute. It looks like a cupcake. It says Food and Wine Festival. And I love the ears on it. It's $30. And I think it's supposed to be a cup. Yeah. Oh, uh, it looks so cute. You got to this shirt. It says everything's better with sprinkles. And it has mini mouse on it. Like everything else here. <laughs> this is really cute. I love the apron she's wearing. It smells... Epcot with food. That's adorable. Honestly. It's $21.99. It's a reusable cup. It says a perfect pairing. And it has Mickey and Minnie. And they're eating. Taste their way around the world. That's you. <laughs> so this really cute tank top. It's $30. And it has Minnie holding a little cake on it. And on the back of it, there's some cute little desserts. Okay, so this is the apron, $30, and honestly, I just love it. Oh, it's amazing. Trash can full of pepper shakers. That's so cute. Oh, that is cute. I don't know one. why, but I love mini trash cans. They have these really cute oven mints. They're $22, and they also come with a dish, dish yeah, towel. Yeah, it's adorable. It's fun. There's also these really cute measuring spoons. And they're $19.99. There's also these really cute Mickey and Minnie ornaments. They're $22 each, and they just look so cute. These really cute ceramic pie holders. And these really, really, really cute mugs. There's also these really cute pass holder shirts. Oh, this one's really fun. That's super cute. Fake little pocket. <laughs> Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. That's a cool looking shirt. Tasty and look, the, the, the letters way. are made out of food. There's also more pass holder stuff in this case. Like the Dooney Brick Bags. There's a pass holder magic band. Some pass holder charms. And some limited release pass holder pens. There's also a matching hat for that shirt too. There's also some really cute pass holder cups and dishes. This one is Figment. But you can also get Remy. This is really cool. They have food and wine phone cases. Okay, so I think we covered all the merch. Now let's go around the world and try some food. They actually moved the Ghirardelli chocolate experience into the land, the place where they, the old binding show used to be. So, let's go in. I wonder what that is. It looks like some sort of weird food class. I'll check it out after this. Hey. Oh. oh, yes I do. Thank you. I'm going to take my hand Intense off and come back dark, through. yeah. Oh, I can't eat it. What? I don't like dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't seem like they have the displays anymore where they make art out of chocolate, but that's okay. Yeah, you still get a free chocolate bar. You still get a free chocolate bar, and that's all of that matters. <laughs> no, they don't have the chocolate sculptures this year. 
And another thing too, they gave the intense dark. And I asked the lady, hey, do you have a different one? And she said no, but then I saw her give a different flavor to a kid. <laughs> so, yeah, just saying. Not happy about it. It does look pretty good. Candy sushi every day from 5.30 to... Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> terrible. Very good. I need a drink. <laughs> Your teeth. Oh. You're terrible. <laughs> So right now we just got off of Living with the Land and they have a fun thing called Root of the Ingredients where basically it shows you the plant and it shows you what dish it makes at the um, Food and Wine Festival where some of the ingredients incorporate in the food. In the Land Pavilion they actually have some really cool fest festival stuff going on like candy sushi where basically you have to register online, but it is free, which is really cool. And they give you some little hats and you get to make some candy sushi. Thank you all so much for coming and making candy sushi. I think I'm gonna have to do it next time I come. Because if there's any sushi I like, it's canned sushi. So if you guys have never heard or been to food and wine, then let me fill you in. Basically, there's little booths at every country and each booth has food from that country that's it. But then there also is booths like these, which are not in a country. But you can pretty much tell from the name what they have. Like this one says, flavors from fire. So it's a barbecue type hamburger thing. There's also some really cool photo ops where you get a hold of food and wine frame in front of Spaceship Earth. Ooh, it looks like they're also doing a magic shot with a little ring in their hand. So we just heard some weird like music and maybe even a DJ from over here, so we're gonna go investigate. Okay, so we definitely found it right in front of the test trap. There is a stage with a DJ. I don't know if we can play the music, it might get flagged or something. But enjoy the sight. Somebody sing it! Pavilion, and there's actually a booth here which are, has never been the past years. And I thought, well, I've tried the booth, you know, other booths the last years, so why not try something from this booth? It's the warm raclette cheese with potatoes in a baguette. Sounds yeah. delicious. It does sound good. Oh, look at all the ducks! Speaking of ducks, there is a duck poutine here somewhere, probably over in Canada. So it's like duck with french fries. I'm a pet. I hope they're not locally sourced. They're precious. Okay, so we've decided to try all three things. Obviously, I cannot eat the venison thing because it's deer and I'm a vegetarian. So my dad's going to try that one. So right now I'm trying the Radcliffe cheese, baguette, and potatoes. It looks really good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's very similar to the um, lamb stew that they had last year at the, I think the Ireland booth or one of those booths. Yeah. How do you like it? It's good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks interesting. It actually looks like really filling. No? Just like oh my gosh, food. you ate that so fast. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Baby was hungry. It was perfect for the Mexican sangria. <laughs> so it's a blueberry tart and I'm gonna try a bite of it now. Yeah? Yeah, I used to love eating these type of tarts when I worked at the coffee shop. They're really good. Yeah, I would love to. Oh. This is not good with the beer. Oh, this is keep happening. <laughs> it's like when you get an ice cream and everything just melts before you can eat it. So you, you tried all three things. What's your favorite thing from that booth? What's um, you know that character Bambi? It's a deer. Oh yeah, the venison. That's my favorite. Is that a dad joke? Yeah, but a terrible joke. I know. So Lily, what do you like better? 
the dessert or the cheese? I really like the cheese on the other one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I might have to say this. I, I really love the, the, um, on this one. I definitely recommend trying everything at that booth because yeah, it was all so good. Saying I don't think I'm going to try any more booths today because I'm actually pretty full after that. But we're going to still walk around the world and see what else is going on. Check, check, check. What's up? Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. I never got the girl. <laughs> but I got this song, which is much better, right? <laughs> So let's all sing this last chorus together. I was actually wondering oh, that. Oh, it's what you do to me. You ready to sing? Yeah. You ready to sing? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. Everybody, come out. Oh, it's what you do to me. Okay, so that concert was really fun. But we're gonna make our last stop before we head out. Right now we're in the Canada Pavilion, and this is where the um, theater normally is. So let's go in. It smells so strong with apples. I yeah, it smells like apple sauce. It smells like our cider. Wow. What we're getting is frozen apple pie. It is not alcoholic. That's that's why I'm getting it. And I'm gonna 12. share it with my mom. I guess I because I am twelve. And I'm gonna share it with my mom because she's driving. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. Kids. Kids. Kids? <laughs> Adults. Good message. <laughs> Kids. The more you know. The more you, know. <laughs> you can also get apple popcorn in a little apple container. Look how pretty this is. Can't wait to try it. Crumbly. Pretty good. It surprisingly really tastes like apple pie. It tastes like frozen apple juice with crumbles on top. Oh, okay. Therefore, it tastes like apple pie. <laughs> Here. Goodbye, mother. This area is definitely very new. I would definitely recommend coming here. It looks so pretty inside. You get get away from the heat. You too. I think we're gonna head out for the night. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, want to see more footage like this? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.